Good morning, everybody. This is Reverend Bradford Hole, and welcome to the Word for Today. Today's word is from Ephesians 5.17, which says, Do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Shows a contrast. The world says, be merry, drink up, tomorrow we may die. But as Christians, we have a hope beyond that. And we have a responsibility to make sure... Hi, Jeff. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. We have a responsibility to live lives... Hi, Shaley. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. We have a responsibility to live lives of soberness. Hi, Sam. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. So, Scripture says, Do not be drunk with wine. Okay? But it's referring to any kind of drunkenness. It, it's more of a contrast. It's saying, don't be drunk, but be filled. Hi, Johnny. Good to see you on the broadcast this morning. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Why? Because uh, once you're born again, you have access to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Once you walk in the Spirit, we, we, we saw yesterday, Scripture, walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the law. Brother Varghese, good to see you on the broadcast this morning. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. The gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit are available to you. You'll, you'll be able to walk in love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faithfulness, and self-control. You will be able to be holy. That gives you a tool, a resource to be Christ-like. And that's God's primary goal for our lives is to be Christ-like in all that we do and all that we say. So today is a good day to just spend some time with the Lord, worship Him, pray, seek the face of God, spend time in God's Word, be filled with the Spirit. God bless you. I hope that's a blessing to you. Have a wonderful day. In a moment, we're going to come out with uh, Christian News Perspectives, so stay tuned. Hi, Sandra. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.